Can I go and just get a truck? Yeah, for $40,000 I could get a truck like that. So the first piece, it's put together. This is the base. This is where the wheels will fit in. And this is measured on that bike and most of the other bikes. So this will fit in with no problem whatsoever. It's custom made for the Yaris. It's custom made for that bike, but it will fit in a different bike and kind of like the same shape and size. So where we are standing on the project so far, um, it's temporarily mounted on the hitch. Remember, the hitch is just a class one, so it can only hold 200 pounds worth of push down. So I'm gonna have two more mounting points, one over here and the one over here. So these mounting points are specifically designed to be able to handle the uh, extra weight and it will be bolted to the frame. There is like a special place on the frame where I saw there's like some holes for the bolts. So I have 200 pounds over here and then I'll have at least 100 pounds on each side. Uh, that way uh, I'll be good for 400 pounds the bike is only 250. For those that are wondering what the hell is going on under the car, right? So um, I have a, this is a piece that is going to slide in. So this is going to be the extra third support on each side. And there's like special bolts on the chassis over here, which I found bolts that fit in here and they were not occupied by anything. So I'm going to add one over here, one over here, and maybe a third one over here as a support. So this is going to be reinforced by itself. This will handle hundred pounds easy, if not 200. And there will be one, on this side also no here's the exhaust so I'm gonna have to make a little bit of a magic uh, to make it work but um, basically what I'll do is uh, I'll add one truss two trusses and th three trusses to the back of the car that will reinforce this a lot more so it will triple its, uh, its weight limit as you can see the project is done so uh, we're actually sitting on it there it is so I'm in, uh, sitting on it um, full of tools and everything everywhere. Uh, would I have done it for anybody else? A lot of work. It will cost $500 at least. Uh, so when you could buy one for $75, it makes no sense, right? But you can't buy one for a Toyota Yaris. So because you can't buy one for a Toyota Yaris, uh, I had to put the work in it. It only cost me $40 and a lot of my time, which is free. So for me, it was absolutely worth it. Uh, I'm gonna load the bike up right now and see how it looks like. And I uh, still have to finish up the the, the mechanism where it holds the bike on top. I want to make a little bit of more of a fancy one. Um, so stay tuned for that because I'm going to make a really, really nice one, like a little bit different than just bungee cords and straps and stuff like that. Okay, so there it is, the bike is loaded. Now for those people who say, well, look at your suspension. I know, I'm getting spacers. Try to explain this. Um, there is a mounting point over here, a mounting point over here. This is 200 pounds. This one most likely 200 pounds. That one most likely 200 pounds. So 600 pounds worth of weight. Bike is 250 and the mount is another 30. So we're good as far as that goes. Um, there's a little latch over here for those that didn't see how it works. So basically it just locks into place and holds the bike down. And then it just wraps around the trunk so the bike cannot slide this way because this is just too fat so I know it will not go that way because the peg will have to hit this to be able to slide off so you just can't, can't do it physically impossible um, now uh, what I have to do is I have to raise the car a little bit so I have to raise the car about three inches uh, the reason that I'm raising the car three inches is that um, obviously though the weight on a small car it will um, just go down uh, really, really fast it's gonna ride too low. Uh, these pieces over here, I initially left them to strap the pegs, but I don't need them, so I'm just gonna cut them straight over here, it seems like. I'm ready to go to my first test drive uh, of my uh, hitch carrier, so it's all loaded up. Um, these are safety straps, so just in case something goes wrong, I, I've added these on just in case. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how, how good it's gonna work out. So the first uh, 10 miles were successful, uh, went a couple of speed bumps, uh, no problem whatsoever, but I do de uh, need a spacers on the back, that's for sure. Now the thing I like is it actually fits in the garage with the bike on the back, so I could keep the bike fully loaded if I want to and then just leave in the morning, so uh, that's also a pretty uh, good plus. It actually fits even better, so I have to put the bike a little bit further this way because the handlebars have to clear the garage door, but uh, yeah, it fits really nice and I could still uh, take it off if I want to so I could just take it off this way um, And there is still room in the front, so that's good um, So far I'm happy with my project. That's for sure now, How long is gonna last you gotta take subscribe to the channel 
and see. Thanks for watching.